Hey, what's going on world? Elric here once again back on Tech of Tomorrow. So if you guys happen to miss it, we unboxed EVGA's FTW edition card of the GTX 1080 and it had some killer stuff. Now if you guys happen to miss that video, you guys can check that out right here and check that out before you view this video because today we're here to talk to you about how this card performs and how well this card overclocks. So let's jump in right now. Let's check out the test system. Then let's check out those benchmarks and talk about how this card does in standard benches and how it does overclocked. Time to rock. Okay, so currently we're still using the same test system that we are using before, but we are upgrading, like I said, to an entire Skylake system. But unfortunately, transferring, getting all those 25 games and everything together takes a little bit of time. And with back-to-back -back stuff going on, it just takes time. Real quick, however, before we jump into those benches, I want to talk a little bit about the memory overclock and the standard overclocking. Now, we were testing the Founders Edition card. We were able to hit 300 plus megahertz on the memory and every game scaled and played very well. However, with the FTW card, there were a few games that we had to actually scale back that wouldn't even handle anything over 100 megahertz. Now, as far as the standard overclocking goes, we said this card has an 1860 megahertz overclock right out of the box. We were able to get 55 megahertz above that with no problem with absolutely zero throttling. And this remained at 77 Celsius constantly. And it was in a room that was 80 degrees ambient temperature. So in a hot room, this thing still kept the card running nice and cool. And it wasn't running with a bunch of loud fan noise. But with that said, let's rock out to the benchmark and check those benches rock. And real quick folks, before I bounce out of here, I wanna give a special shout out to Braintree for making today's video possible. Even the best mobile app will not work unless you have the proper payment API. And that's where these folks come in to solve all your problems. This is where Braintree's V.0 SDK comes in. One amazingly simple integration gives you every way to pay. It supports Android, iOS, and JavaScript clients and it offers a simple integration that you can do in minutes. If this sounds good to you, try it out for yourself in the sandbox. All you gotta do is go www.braintreepayments.com forward slash T-O-T. So there you have it folks, the EVGA FTW edition of the GTX 1080. Now, like I said, this card comes right out of the box overclocked at 1860 megahertz. So for you folks out there who don't wanna mess with it whatsoever, you guys can see that's a pretty decent and stable boost. But if you wanna push it even further, you're seeing we're getting stable 55 megahertz above that across the board with no throttling. So that's pretty good. Plus, I gotta say the card doesn't run really loud either. You're not hearing like this completely like windmill type thing going 
going on while the card's running, so that's good. No more of the super duper loud things going on to keep your card running cool. So this card runs great. It seems like the cooling technology on it's doing a solid job. And at the end of the day, for those folks out there who don't want a Founders Edition card and want something different, hey, the FTW might be just what you're looking for. Now, the last thing before I bounce out of here, friend of mine, Mark, he does all the benches, guys, a benchmark maniac. And if you guys want to see a full on written review with all of this stuff more in depth, I'll have a link down below to his channel where you guys can check out his written review of this card as well. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll be back here for more killer gaming shit coming up.